Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, hello, my name is Amy. In today's video, I'm going to share with you a very, very cute styling haul and also talk about the top fashion trends of spring, summer 2023. I'm going to share the trends that I think are worth buying and also the ones that I think Eh, I'm just gonna skip. One of the trends is skirt suits, but make it pretty. I kind of like this trend because there's already a top and a bottom and all you need is a few accessories, some shoes, and you're out the door. So I love the idea of skirt suits. Although I like this trend, I'm gonna modify it a little bit for myself. So this cute little suit that I'm wearing right now is from Goelia. They're also today's video sponsor and I love, love, love everything that I got from them. I think their styles are spot on. Nothing is too crazy and everything is super wearable. I have a lot of favorites. This is definitely one of them. I love this neutral color in general for almost everybody. The length is good for the spring summer. I would probably just leave it open just because the boxiness does kind of make you more square but obviously if you're in a meeting or whatnot you can definitely button it up. And the best part is that instead of a skirt it's actually a short so it's a little bit more comfortable with skirts especially if it's not long enough you have to wear maybe shorts underneath it's completely lined as you can see goelia is premium high street because their prices are definitely reasonable but the quality is so much better and it doesn't feel like fast fashion at all because of how curated their styles are while i have this jacket off i just want to show you the details on the inside like it's just so well finished everything so these are very thin um shoulder pads fully lined and also it has a slit detail also on the back the sleeves are a little bit more simply finished instead i prefer if they had like that invisible stitching but other than that i'm super happy with especially with the cut the fabric by the way these trends are in no particular order i'm just going by what vogue is saying so the next trend is extra baggy jeans also cargo cargo on jackets cargo pockets on pants and just even bags are cargo <laughs> i don't know how many people are gonna pull out their cargo baggy pants in future seasons maybe this fall it's still gonna be okay but like next spring is it is it even gonna still be around so that's something that i'm a little bit more reserved so instead of that and instead of super baggy jeans because i honestly feel that baggy jeans only look good on very slender and very tall people i'm only 5'4 so i don't think i'm even tall enough to pull off very baggy stuff I would just stick with something a little bit more conservative but still kind of has that vibe. This pair of denim jeans everyone should get. I'm not even kidding. I love the little kind of dip here in front, the little kind of open slit here in front. It gives you the illusion of that like more narrow waist. These are great with belts of course and the Kelly belt works very well with this pants uh, but they're big enough for a, a good size belt for sure. I also like that it doesn't start off at the top so it's a little bit more it's a little bit more cute and modern and feminine in a way and while it is not super baggy it does have a little bit of width line right here slightly tapered and ankle length in my opinion if you can't pull off baggy because baggy usually is like super long in order to compensate for the bagginess do ankle length instead do high waisted instead and just have details on the denim piece itself that will elevate your denim game. The devil is in the details and this pair of pants, the thickness, the color, and just the cutting of this one is superb. I'll list all the sizing that I took down below in the description so all the details will be there. Okay, the next trend is about short and sweet jackets. Not crop for sure, but not long either. So it's just the right length, which is why they call short and sweet. Just that perfect jacket that you can always layer on top of anything you're wearing if you have lower rise pants it will still work i love this one because it's very timeless and this is an example of a short and sweet jacket so this one is so beautiful i've seen it on a few influencers getting it already and the pattern itself is very timeless stripes are a big 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 trend this year 80 percent wool and it's a medium thickness so it's not super thick but it's not very thin either it's just the perfect thickness it's got gold button detailing 
and the closure like this definitely the perfect spring piece you can either wear it alone as a top or you can also just drape it on on cooler spring days the next trend is button-up shirts which i love 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 this is definitely a trend that is very timeless will stay forever but i love the fact that it is a trend so think oversized cotton poplin shirt it can be a beautiful silk blouse that it's a little bit more fitted and you guys already know i own a ton of button-up shirts uh, this one is just another a great one to consider so this one what i love about this is the very pointed lapel it's so gorgeous whether you wear all the way buttoned up on top or opened up a little bit just a bit more casual but sort of like easy going it's perfect either way and best of all again the devil is in the details look at how beautiful these sleeves are it's got like that balloon sleeve vibe but without being too balloony like it's not so over the top the material of this blouse is super flowy it is not silk it does look like silk but it is not highly recommend this little blouse here it's so beautiful you guys will love it i love belts and i love blazers it's basically blazers that are cinched in i love that because blazers again are just more put together they're easy to wear they're also very good for the work environment i like girly and elegant but i also like sort of like just that very sleek look a lot of times as well so i would totally just wear that to go shopping and this trend is definitely up my alley this black suit you can get just the top or the top and the bottom or just the bottom obviously same thing with the one that i'm wearing right now the material is very similar to this one very airy beautiful fabric for spring summer a uh, very simple lapel as you can see so just very streamlined very clean it's a shorter sleeve which is better for the summer months of course and it comes with a detachable belt i can wear just a jacket over jeans even in the colder months i kind of love this year's spring summer trend because it's all about blazers it's all about suits it's all about the cinched in look i guess they just included everything this year so whichever suits you go for it um, but yeah i love these pants these are probably the best little black little shorts that everyone should get as well whether you get the the suit or not i think these are cute little shorts that are going to be great for everybody they're high-waisted i love that these ones have a belt loop i also love the little detail here on the bottom the cuff detail even though you can't see the branding of goelia they made sure to have this little stitching here so i guess this is their signature because i have this on all the pants that i have so the longer pants the shorter pants even this beige pants they all have the same stitching signature the next trend is midi skirts and we're talking denim midi skirts so think skirts that are a bit longer and maybe hugs your hips with this trend i'm gonna skip it again because i used to own a few midi skirts that are denim and i've consigned all of them because they just don't work for my body type first of all i have a very straight body type so it makes me look kind of bigger than i am and also because i don't have those long 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 super long legs i would say that if you have a pear shape it will probably look better on you or if you're kind of even if you're petite but if you're very 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 slender like you just have a lot of like bony structures i think it looks better on you but aside from that like on me with my average build and just kind of straight body it just doesn't accentuate my my good features so i'm skipping the midi skirt the next trend is motorcycle inspired usually leather look it's that rocker chic slash edgy look i love wearing something a little bit more girly maybe florals underneath put a leather jacket on top it kind of juxtaposes very well but if you're not into this harsher look you can still kind of pull off something similar with a great trench coat you get that flap detailing you get the lapels you get that cinched in look with the belting so you can still pull off a very sophisticated edgy look with a trench coat without being a motorcycle jacket so this would be a great example of like that classic trench coat classic material it's in this beautiful worsted wool which is 
a thin wool perfect for the spring weather it has this beautiful drape the color is very neutral and you've got all the detailings without being too harsh personally i just love coats very much whether they're full-on winter coats or a good trench coat or just like a good jacket with coats it's so easy to be put together because they basically cover your entire body and all you need to do is just put on some shoes obviously and the outfit inside but my point is you'll automatically look so put together the moment you put it on or drape it on the next trend is apparently bright color bottom so think red a bright blue yellow those kind of colors which i'm personally gonna skip but if you like this trend go right ahead or if you already have a lot of bright color pants it's apparently the season to be wearing a bright color pant i will say if i did style this trend myself i would keep the top pretty plain i would probably play with textures more keep it in the same family of color or keep it quite neutral as well like maybe a plain white t-shirt or plain white tank top to go with something very bright on the bottom bright white color footwear personally speaking i really like white shoes because even if your outfit was a little bit boring let's say it's just all black but with white shoes it automatically just pulls it all together and it looks like you put in a lot more effort than you did so that's why i love white sneakers white loafers white sandals anything that is white on the feet i'm all in the next trend is about tailored looks but even if you don't wear a suit for example like you don't have that jacket you can still pull off a quite tailored look with just some tailored pants and a good button-up shirt so again we're combining trends and already that way it looks tailored because it just looks kind of it just looks very clean and modern and elegant uh, and very uh, office appropriate but the fact that it's a trend you'll probably see more people wearing it just on regular days as well so if you don't already own some like plain black pants that just go with pretty much any kind of tops but especially button-up tops I suggest this one if you're kind of like me you're kind of on the shorter side so you're basically not very tall and you don't have a lot of shape this one is beautiful first of all the drape is extraordinary the material is airy and apparently it has some elastic detailing on the back for this one i went with size 27 but i definitely think that you should size down and they're high-waisted which is just the best way to elongate your legs even though if your legs are not very long again with their pants they all have this detailing here that little stitching here also just the way they finish everything on the inside there's these loops for hanging your pants i'm super excited about the next trend which is called tip top tops <laughs> it's kind of hard to say i have a few options here with different length of sleeves and they all have this striping detail the first one right here is this cute little sleeveless one it's got that nice drape as well it's just your classic little sleeveless shirt but with a bit of details because of the stripes and the way they did the stripe here is very very timeless you can wear this underneath a suit you can wear it alone this one's definitely a winner in my books again it's got that stripe detailing but also very kind of french classic in a way so it's always going to be timeless i love a good squared neck it really shows off the collarbone detail three quarter sleeves which is very flattering universally flattering probably my favorite of the three is this beautiful beautiful shirt so this one because it's long sleeve it's definitely great for the springtime so good for the cooler weather it's got a zipper detail i love i just love the detail and the softness of this one uh, the other two i showed you are a little bit more airy material so slightly warmer temperature this one is good for cooler temperature it's so soft i love the yellow detailing the next trend which i'm okay with but only if it's done tastefully which is sheer layering a lot of different designers have been doing a lot of sheer fabrics but some of them is literally head to toe sheer which i think is a bit much and kind of very hard to pull off on a day-to-day -day basis this shirt has a little bit of sheer fabric here as a part of the detailing of the shirt in fact it's so delicately done and it's really pretty and that way it gives a bit more texture to the shirt that i'm wearing underneath it's not just like a plain white shirt you can still take advantage of the trend which uh, honestly when it's done tastefully like this it becomes a very timeless and just 
everyday top. I love that this one is sleeveless. It's slightly big on me because I did take a medium. The next trend, which I know a lot of you will be very excited about, and it's sort of always a constant debate, is the bigger, the better the bag size. Big bags always had its place anyway, and it really depends on your lifestyle because personally speaking, I just don't like heavy bags, so big bags are sort of more out of the question for me more often than not. I still very much miss my 22 bag and mine was in a size small so if I were to get it back it's still a big bag look but it's not so big of a bag that I can't pull it off. So that's my take on the top 2023 spring summer trends. I love the majority of them except the ones that just really don't suit my body type and at the end of the day you should buy what looks good on you. I'll also link everything that I featured in the description box. Like I said, I pretty much love everything, but I definitely have my top favorites. So I'll star them also in the in the description and I'll also put my sizing. Don't forget to check out Goelia. I have everything linked down below. Let me know which one is your favorite. Let me know which trend are you most excited about and I'll talk to you guys again in the comment section.